Welcome back to Gold Seek TV. We're here in Zurich at the Precious Metals Summit. I'm here with the president and CEO of Arizona uh, Metals. Metals. Yeah. And Duncan Middlehamis, thank you for joining us here. And My pleasure, Peter. Thanks. Makes an overview of your, your two exciting projects, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. Come. Absolutely. Yeah. So I joined the company uh, May of uh, 24. So just recently, I've only been with the company for about five months now. Uh, but really what attracted me to the the the, the whole project that you know the company was the great nature of the drilling that was going on on the cape uh project so you know they had these great intercepts like 93 meters of 8.2 grams of gold equivalent or 125 meters of 2.2 percent copper equivalent so very exciting it's an underground deposit i'm an underground uh, mining engineer i would say more so than anything um so that definitely attracted me to the uh you know to the company uh, the other asset we have is a gold asset called Sugarloaf Peak. So the K mine where the polymetallic is, that's about 45 minutes north of uh, Phoenix. The uh, Sugarloaf Peak is about two and a half hours to the west of, uh, of Phoenix towards uh, California. So that one's also, it's got a, both properties have a historic resource on them. The K uh, has got a, a resource done by Exxon back in like 1982 and it's like 5.8 million tons and 2.2% copper and 2.81 grams of uh, gold per ton. So, but that only went down to about 500 meters. So what the company's been able to do in the last four years of drilling, they've extended the, the, the deposit down to about 950 meters below surface now. So essentially doubled the, the dip length of that. Okay. Um, also, you know, we're trying to get a resource out and I sort of declared that we'd get a, a resource out in the first half of 2024. So we wanted to finish up the resource drilling. Uh, we ended up with a real snag because we accidentally hit like 50 meters of uh, 6.7 grams per ton of gold equivalent, about 110 meters from our closest mineralized hole. So our focus right now with both drills, or we're trying to drill this off as quickly as we can to understand is it really part of the K deposit or is it a separate lens? So, okay. so it's a good challenge to have. So <laughs> very nice. So well, what are the plans now in the coming period in the coming yeah. year? For well, drill, drill, drill on, uh, on what we call the K2 deposit. And again, it's early days. We're not even sure is it part of the K deposit or is it a separate lens. Um, so we'd like to get that drilling completed. We want to uh, do the uh, mineral resource estimate in the first half of 2024, and then we're going to follow that up with um, a PEA, a Preliminary Economic Assessment, in the latter half of 2024. Okay. Um, now, how how is the company funded? And yeah, are you our uh, so right now uh, our last reported cash balance is uh, 20.6 million Canadian. Uh, that was at uh, June 30th. So we're going to come up with our uh, our Q3 results on Thursday the 14th, so this week, uh, and you get a, an update on the cash balance, but we're, we're okay for cash. We've got enough to, uh, we have enough to take care of the mineral resource estimate, the PEA, all the background uh, studies, technical work that we're doing, hydrology, environmental, metallurgical, all those things are happening in the background, all in support for the, you know, the mineral resource estimate and the PEA. So that's a lot, a lot coming forward to define there the is. value, yeah. to not just like create more value, but to define yeah, finance. Exactly. I, I, I really, that was one thing that really had to happen because the, the deposit as it is, other than it being open at depth, it's not closed off and DMS deposits typically can, can go quite deep. So, you know, I think what we've got here is a getting to be a fairly well-defined, uh, you know, mineralization right now. But of course, then we ran into this K2 and, uh, uh, you know, it's a, a good event for sure, but it's, uh, you know, really focusing our efforts on getting that uh, to the mineral resource estimate, I think. Fantastic. Now the other asset in the company, Sugarloaf? Sugarloaf, yeah. So Sugarloaf is a uh, gold asset. Uh, it's got a historic resource of about uh, one and a half million ounces. Uh, it's half a gram, but um, the recoveries from the Met work the oxide part of it is, uh, I think, 95%. Sulfide is 85% recoverable. So good recoveries, but really seems to be expandable along strike and at depth. So the previous resource, the historic one, uh, only went down to 70 meters. So there's a lot of opportunity here for us to, number one, make a compliant resource, and number two, expand it. 
and, and you know drive some value out of it i think and will you be doing this in the coming uh, yeah, period? yeah that's the plan it's it's honestly i would say the lowest priority we have right now the, the k deposit number one and also the exploration off to the west of k is is really prospective uh we're um we've submitted uh, what they call an exploration and uh, reclamation plan of operations in order to have the entire property um uh, you know basically licensed for drilling uh, and so we've already done some good identification of, uh, of possible targets and one's called the West target, which is, uh, um, of course to the West side of the, the property, but for us to drill it correctly, we need to set up West of that and drill back to the East cause it's dipping to the West. Yeah. So exciting times. It a very, very exciting. So yeah. a lot to look forward to in the coming year. Yes, absolutely. Um, with a very positive, more supportive metals environment yes. and, uh, it, even other commodities seem to be kind of. Yep catching up here. So looking forward to see how uh, the resource looks, how the drilling continues yeah. and the pre-feasibility, uh, sorry, PEA. PEA, yeah. Okay. Uh, PEA, uh, yeah. Next year. So yeah, looking forward to that. And we're looking forward to following up and see how that develops. Well, excellent. Good. Thank you, Duncan. Okay. Thanks, Peter. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Yeah.